Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I actually found a couple of the clips from my first attempt at the 50 Shades of Grey challenge. Um, uh, still not all of it, but some of it, and the first attempt was so much better. So, I am going to show them to you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, here we go again. Um, so, I have seen the 50 Shades of Grey challenge all over YouTube. Um, some of my favorite YouTubers have done it, and it's hilarious to watch. And uh, so I decided to take part of it. So, uh, in case you don't know, the Fifty Shades of Grey challenge is to read a passage from Fifty Shades of Grey without laughing or giggling or stumbling over your words. Um, I have not seen anybody read it yet without laughing or giggling or making some comment um just failing the challenge but it's worth watching so um i love 50 shades of gray i've read the series twice so maybe i'll have a little bit more luck since i'm so well versed in it so here we go 50 shades of gray For the first time in my life, I voluntarily go for a run. I find my nasty, never-used sneakers, some sweatpants, and a t-shirt. I put my hair in pigtails, blushing at the memories they bring back, and I plug in my iPod. I can't sit in front of the marvel of technology or look at or read any more disturbing material. I need to expend some of this excess, enervating energy. Quite frankly, I have a mind to run to the Heathman Hotel and just demand sex from the control freak. But that's five miles, and I don't think I'll be able to run one mile, let alone five. And of course, he might turn me down, which would be beyond humiliating. This is boring. I want to get to the juicy stuff. It's easy to read this drivel. <laughs> this is a good page. Um, you're going to get to hear me say some pretty interesting words. Um, they're talking about the contract between him and her for their BDSM relationship. So, this, this, this is great. More? Please. He smiles that oh-so-smug private smile of his, holds the champagne bottle up and pauses. Have you eaten anything? Oh no, not this old chestnut. Is that a saying, by the way? I've never heard that. I've read this twice, and both times, and just now. I thought, how ridiculous. Like, I've never heard that. Is, is that a thing? Please tell me. Sorry. Yes, I had a three-course meal with Ray. I roll my eyes at him. Uh-oh. For those of you who have read this book, you know that's bad news. The champagne is making me bold. He leans forward and holds my chin, staring intently into my eyes. Next time you roll your eyes at me, I will take you across my knee. What? Oh, I breathe, and I can see the excitement in his eyes. Oh, he responds, mirroring my tone. So it begins, Anastasia. My heart slams against my chest, and the butterflies escape from my stomach into my constricting throat. Why is that hot? He fills my cup and I drink practically all of it. Chastened, I stare up at him. Got your attention now, have I? I nod. Answer me. Yes, you've got my attention. Good. He smiles a knowing smile. So, sexual acts. We've done most of it. Had to reset because the stupid battery died. Let's try this again. I move closer to him on the couch and glance down at the list. Appendix 3. Soft limits to be discussed and agreed between both parties. Does the submissive consent to masturbation, cunnilingus, fellatio, fellatio, swallowing semen, vaginal intercourse? Oh, guys, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Vaginal fisting, anal intercourse, anal fisting. No fisting, you say? Anything else you object to? He asks softly. I swallow. 